either way the Cherries have got a flag kick which the former Leeds defender Ian Hart will swing out with his left foot the last corner he took at Barnsley in the last seconds produced a goal for Steve Cook what can Hart deliver this time it's going to go to the oh. edge of the air Francis on the volley into a crowd yes. and turned in from close range by Jan Termigant with only 68 seconds on the clock it's a training ground perler Hart to Francis into a crowd and turned over Jan Kermigant from two yards in the second minute. The Cherries are ahead. Well, it had to work sooner or later, and the boys have persevered with it. One from the training ground, as you say, <clears throat> you've seen it week in, week out, folks, with a little variation, but the top and bottom is a driven ball to the edge of the box. Nobody marking, we've used all the numbers up. Francis gets the shot gone for free. And it'll be Richie who brings it out. Francis has made a great run. Simon Francis is onside. He's beyond the defenders here. Francis looking for support. He's got Graben. Pulls it back to Graben. It's a magnificent goal. Absolutely sensational counter-attack from one end of the field to the other. Richie fed Francis. who would run 80 yards. His pullback was on a plate. And Lewis Graben swept it past Jack Butland and leads off the field of Intatas. And on it, they're in Tatters too. 17 and a half gone. Cherries by 2-0. That's goal of the season, Chris. That is absolutely top draw, right from the heart of the defence, passed the ball all the way through. <coughs> it was all about whether Francis could time his run over the halfway line, whether he could just keep momentum. He was flat out sprinting, and the ball was played just a yard before he got there, and he went again. The ball back to grab it. He still had an awful lot to do, but he found the corner. Goal of the season for me. The only time Lee Camp has been beaten, of course, in the last six games was that Dorian DeVete header in stoppage time at Charlton. Five clean sheets in the last six for the Cherries, of course. And even if you include the last seven games, only one goal scored by Derby. As Francis again makes another terrific run all the way to the penalty area. The back heel to Graben. He's got space. It's 3 0. And again, it's come from Francis. And again, it was embarrassingly easy for Lewis Graben. Francis, the architect, with a 40-yard run, pulled it back into the box, and Graben, this time with his left foot, on 28 minutes, has given the Cherries an unthinkable 3-0 lead. Well, Graben will get the headlines, but Simon Francis, he's done it again. He, he absolutely superb run, beating two, three players on his way, then a little back heel just at the end, but grabs in, fires it hard and low, through the keeper. <coughs> 3-0, can you believe it?